Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Today I'm bringing you a cook with me and this has been on my radar for a couple of weeks. My friend Lisa gave me the recipe and said it was absolutely amazing. So I've done some tweaks to it. This did come from the WW website. I will link that below and also link below the ingredients that I used in my version. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and get the ground beef browning first. So we're gonna jump over to my stove and get that started um, as usual. Don't forget, give me a thumbs up if you like my cook with me. So leave me some comments below. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, hit that little subscribe button and let's get cooking. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and turn our stove on. I'm gonna put that on about a medium high heat. I'm gonna go ahead and throw some water in our pan. And I always do that just to keep the meat from drying out, especially when you're using a, a very lean meat. And today we are using a 96.4 um, extra lean ground beef. And I do have more than I need here, but I'm gonna be using this for other things. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cook all of it today. And then I'll separate it out for what I need it, you know, for the amount that I need later. So I'm gonna go ahead and give my hands a quick wash. Um, I have 2.25 pounds of meat there. So that's going to give us more than, like I said, more than enough. So let me go ahead and give my hands a quick wash and then we'll throw some salt, pepper and throw, start throwing some ingredients in our pan. We're going to start off, the recipe calls for one teaspoon of kosher salt, and I'm going to put two teaspoons in here, just a little more than two teaspoons, because again, I do have more meat than I need. So one teaspoon of kosher salt, one pound of ground beef, if you're making the regular recipe. So I'll go ahead and throw that on there, and then I'm going to start to chop this up and get this broken up so that we have that ready to go. And I love this meat chopper. Again, not sponsored, not just, you can get them on Pampered Chef, you can get them at Menard, you can get them at Meyer. I mean, they sell them everywhere, so pick one up if you don't have one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and chop that up. And then we're gonna add in a chopped onion. So I have a large chopped onion here, and again, you could probably use a small one for this recipe and you would be fine if you're making one pound. I, I know I, I probably should have just made a pound and made it easier, but again, I know that when I'm doing my cooking, if I can bulk something, bulk cook something, then I know that it's going to make my life easier when I am, you know, when, when I'm prepping my meals later. So always keep that in mind. All right, I'm just going to give that a stir. And I'm going to let this cook. All right, so I will come back to you once this is brown. Because, again, it's like watching paint dry if we sat here and talked through this entire browning process. So I'll be back. While our beef continues to cook, I'm going to go ahead and chop up the last couple of ingredients that we have. I have a tomato here. A Roma, Roma plum, which, whichever it is. But I'm going to go ahead and cut that into small chunks. And... I'm probably going to use more tomato than's needed, but I'm only going to have one bowl right now, and I'm going to have to get my tomato knife out. Um, that one always works better. So I'm going to go ahead and chop up a little more tomatoes because um, with me, you can't go wrong with extra tomatoes. I just love them. So I'm just going to go ahead and dice these into some smallish pieces. Those look pretty good. I'll get the second one done. And then we're going to, from there, cut up our pickles because you can't have a cheeseburger salad without pickles. Um, again, if there's any ingredients that you don't like, feel free to leave them off because, you know, it, this make this your own. If you want to add something else in or you have the extra points, add in some maybe 
some bacon, then you can have a bacon cheeseburger bowl. That would be good as well. All right, so the dill pickles that I'm using today are these kosher dills. They're the sandwich slices. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab a fork. Now it says to use three of these. I'm thinking that, I don't know, three might be a lot. Maybe I'll try to find a smaller one in here. That's not so small, but it's smaller. Okay. Just just follow, follow the recipe, right? So we're just gonna go ahead and chop this into smaller pieces. I'm just gonna push this off to the side. We'll cut up our last two here. And I guess if you really wanted to, you could use dill pickle relish if you didn't want to go through this. That might um, save you a little bit of time, but I always have extra pickles in my fridge, and this is a great way to use those pickles up. All right, so we've got those there and ready to go. We're just going to wait for our meat to get done, and then we'll start to layer these bowls and pop our meat on top, and it's just going to be absolutely delicious. All right, so hang tight. I'll be back. All right, let's start to layer this up and see how this looks when we're done. So it calls for one and a half cups of romaine lettuce chopped. So there is one. And there is a half. Okay. And then we're going to start to layer on our the rest of our ingredients. I'm just opening up my cheese here. So we have our lettuce, we have our tomato. Here on the side. That looks good. We're going to pop in our pickles right here. I measured out 2.5 ounces of hamburger meat. We're going to pop that here. I have some fat free mild cheddar cheese. If you don't have the fat free, then go ahead and you may have to count the points for your whichever one you're using. So I'm going to go ahead and put two tablespoons of shredded cheese here. There we go, two tablespoons of shredded cheese. And I'm going to add in our Thousand Island dressing. Alright, so we're going to add in one to two tablespoons of the Thousand Island dressing, the, the one that I have here. I think two tablespoons, I'll double check that, but I think that two tablespoons is going to be one point. If not, I'm gonna add in a second one because I think I might need a little bit more. And it's okay if it's, a, if, if it's another point because this entire bowl, the way that I have this one built is only four points. So even if that, that extra tablespoon adds a point, I'll take this entire bowl for five points. So there is my cheeseburger bowl. It looks amazing. I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. I know it's gonna be good because all the ingredients in it are absolutely perfect. And I've had this, I've had this combination before, just not in a bowl format. So I'm gonna go ahead and dig in. I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you make this one in at your home. Look down below in the description box. I will have both the link to the WW recipe as well as the ingredients that I used for today's meal. So with that said, thanks for watching and we will see you next video.